Hello, this is Jennifer Aline Graham, the blogger for the Speaking Out About Self Injury blog. This video blog is dedicated to my brother, Matthew Graham, who passed away five years ago on October 14, 2008. So, five years ago, my brother passed away. I've spoken about this numerous times in my blogs because this guy's my hero. He was a writer. He was probably the funniest person I knew. He was the most honest and obnoxious person in the world, and I loved him for all of it. And five years ago was the day that I decided I would stop cutting. Five years ago was the day I made my last intentional cut. I remember sitting in the bathtub crying. I couldn't believe, you know, after 26 days, 26 days after being diagnosed with cancer, my brother was gone. I'm sitting there realizing, you know, he was the one I always called, I always talked to about my struggles with suicide and cutting and things like that. He was gone. And even though, even today, I don't believe it, in reality, I know he's not coming back. But the point of this blog is, for those who are struggling and trying to find a reason to stop, don't wait until a loved one is gone. Don't wait until an intense, crazy moment in your life happens. Make a choice and do it. Sadly, I used my brother's death to be the trigger to what made me stop cutting. And it's, it's cool to know a date <laughs> that five years ago I stopped cutting, but the thing is, that it's also surrounded by a really negative and upsetting time in my life. So it kind of goes back and forth. You know, I'm happy I stopped. I'm upset he's gone. However, my brother would be proud that I stopped, that I don't do that anymore. I don't use that as a coping skill. He knows that it's tough, that every day it's tough, that it's not an easy addiction to get over. And he knows that from when I talk to him. I just recently found a letter that I sent him in 2004 when I was 16 talking about when I had just been diagnosed with depression and had to go to counseling and was self-harming and I mentioned it to him in that that letter and it brought me back to realizing wow I really trusted this guy and now he's looking at me and trusting me to not go back and not self-harm and I've been that way for five years so I'm telling you guys don't wait until something happens in your life to make you stop. I stopped because I knew it wasn't safe, I knew it wasn't worth it, and I need to focus on other things, not my arms. And my brother would be proud. You know, it's been five years without a cut, without seeing my brother, but he's here. He knows that every day is a struggle, and he's probably pushing my boundaries. So he can keep on pushing those boundaries, and I will keep on pushing forward because five years is nothing. Five years is nothing. So five years one day, five years two days, let's do it, okay? Stop. Stop self-harming. and Don't wait for something to come around and force you to stop. Thank you for listening to my video blog today. For more info on me, check out my, my book Noon on Amazon.com, Nook and Kindle under Jennifer Aline. Thank you guys very much for listening and have a great night.